What makes you care about people who are suffering? How many of you felt something for those 13 boys trapped down in that cave? You felt something. What made you feel it? It was because of a recognition. I argued this morning and say this morning, a recognition that that could be you. Or an even higher standard, mm, an even higher standard that God saved me. Mm. Even when I did not deserve to be saved. There's a love. And all of us have to be captured and, 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 and we have to think about this because how else would there be a world we were once enslaved? Who cared enough? Had to be some white folk because other black folk couldn't do much. Harry Tubman pulled a few of us out of slavery, but they had to take them somewhere. Then they lead them to the Underground Railroad. They had to be white folk. What made them care? Why would you care? And what's happening with our society today more and more and more is that people are starting not to care. And they would rather remove themselves from, from getting involved. And on top of the nation is the chief, I don't care. Matter of fact, his wife wore it on her back. And that begins to pervade everywhere, particularly among people who don't want you in their neighborhood in the first place. And so we share certain values. We believe in certain things. We believe that people deserve care. We believe that people deserve rights liberties, being able to pursue happiness. We believe that, and therefore we're willing to make a sacrifice. Jesus believed it, and his sacrifice was so great that he died on a cross for us all. Martin Luther King believed it, and he was killed because of what he believed. Uh, Nelson Mandela stayed in jail 27 years because he believed it. We share certain values, and when people transgress on our values, trespass on our values, then we get upset. And we ought to be upset. I thank God I'm not the Levite. I thank God I'm not the priest. I thank God I'm not the man beat up in the road. But most of all, I thank God I'm not the one who did the robbing. People are getting ripped off every day. Who is my neighbor? It's people who look like you know. Jesus took it to a higher level. Everybody is our neighbor. And sometimes the one you least expect to help you is the one who clings to a higher value and picks you up off the road, dusts you off, takes you to an inn, and puts his American Express card.